What's up guys, Mr. Clock Test of you back with another video. Today I'll be talking about even more sports stories. Let's get into the video. So as of in my first sports stories video, make sure you check that video out if you haven't already. Yeah. In my first sports video I said that I did two sports which was swimming and hockey. But I actually used to do a third sport before I did swimming and hockey and I quit. And I now do a new sport, which that new sport is the cross, and the old sport that I quit was soccer. Let's just get into the soccer stories. I remember I had shoes with laces on them, which I actually don't use shoes with laces on them, if you guys don't know. And when I was five years old, I hated those shoes with laces. And my dad said that I had to wear them whenever I went to soccer practice. So I didn't like that. But I did like one thing about soccer, and that was playing indoor. I did not like playing outdoor. I don't know why, I just hated playing outdoor, but I like loved playing indoor. So, so when I was only able to do outdoor soccer, when I was like five years old, I started hating it a lot, and I cried every single time. But my coach was a pretty nice guy. He didn't really care that I was crying a lot, but still. I was crying a lot. And the one time I remember, the one time I remember that I cried a lot was we were doing this game where you had like, where everybody had a soccer ball and you had like steal the, and you had like steal the ball from someone else and like kick it away. That would mean that they eliminated it. I was pretty much just hiding from everybody because I did not want to force people because I didn't want to get eliminated. So I was just like, I was just like here, and then it was top three. The other two people were like here. I was like, okay, I'm out. And then the other people were just like fighting. One person won, he went straight to me, easily just got the ball away from me, and I ran to my dad crying. <laughs> I don't know why, but I cried so much. And then I think my dad asked if I wanted to quit soccer, and I said yes. And now let's go back to some other stories. So I finally won a hockey game. I decided not to make an entire video about this because for well, the last time I did a video about my hockey drought. Well, yeah, that was probably one of the worst videos on my channel. It made me lose two subs. Can you believe that? And that's like tied for my most subscribers lost for a video. But let's just get back into those stories. The win that I got in hockey was so clutch. Like, our team was the only goalie that had a team. So what we did was the first period, there were only two periods for some reason in my hockey game, not three. The first period, we had a goalie and we could score, and then we scored on an empty net. And the other team, they had to score on a goalie and they had to defend an empty net. But the thing was, the other team had an extra player on the ice. And the first period, I think we were like losing by one, and then in the last shift, someone on my team tied it to clutch up the first period. We were tied five to five at the end of the first period. Second period, I get a goal. And then our team gets another goal. I was on the ice for that goal. And then I got another goal, so I had Two goals. The other team was still scoring, but we were scoring more. Our defense was doing some insane saves because, of course, there was no goalie, so our defense had to make all the saves. And then I was on the ice for every single goal, and on the last shift, our team managed to get a clutch goal, and we ended up winning the game. Well, I don't think we got a clutch goal the last shift, but I remember there was 10 seconds left. We were winning by one point. The other team had a breakaway on our empty net. But I think he ended up missing or he lost the puck. And we won that game. Everybody on our team was just like throwing our sticks, throwing our gloves. I feel like I had the longest job out of all those people, but. So we hadn't won a single game in our hockey league, whatever, and we finally won, and everybody was just like going insane. It was crazy, but anyway, now let's talk about some lacrosse stories. I haven't had that much swimming stories, except one time I really didn't want to go to swim practice. I went there, it was pretty boring, but it was like less 
fun than usual. Sometimes I just like don't really care. I'm not that. I'm not bored, but I'm not having fun. That time I was actually bored. And then when I came back to my house, it turned out that two of my friends went to my house and asked if I could play too. And my dad said I couldn't because I was at swimming. Or my mom. I forgot who was at my house and who was with me at swimming. I don't remember. But now back to those lacrosse stories. Earlier today, I got the best lacrosse goal I've ever done, I think. I remember I had the ball and I was running up and I did a spin around a fake move around one guy. And then there's another guy right next to me. I did another spin around a fake move. And then I was in front of them. So that was just, but then the other team, since there were four people on my team and three people on the other team, a coach was on the other team. I did another spin around around the coach and I had an empty net, easy goal. Then I remember one of my teammates said that I should have passed, but then another teammate said, that was actually insane though. And yep, I agree with them, it was insane. And I feel like, okay, I don't feel like anything. All right, it's fine. Well, what am I saying? I'm not ending this video. What am I saying? All right, just pretend that the last 20 seconds never happened. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have 98 subs. Okay, yeah, I do have 98 subs. I need two more subs to hit 100 subs. And my 100 sub special will be insane. I spent an hour working on the first 30 seconds of that 100 sub special. So you guys can clearly see that it's going to be insane. Like and subscribe would be appreciated. Bye!